Is She-Hulk sexist? Well, let's consider the following. Point number one, all the men in the show are jerks. You have the male lawyer at the beginning who's being overly critical of Jennifer's practice final argument, the group of men who are overly aggressive in their desire to flirt with Jennifer, and even Bruce being jealous of Jennifer's progress in controlling the Hulk form, to the point of pushing her off of a cliff. Alternatively, the women in the show, whether her bubbly best friend or the posse who clean her up in the bathroom, are only supportive. One-sided for sure, but consider, we don't know the relationship between Jennifer and male lawyer. He could be bitter that she was head of the case, he could have lost a promotion to her, or they just had a messy breakup. So maybe he's just salty. Now, the group outside the bar is similar to the trope used in action movies where a group of toughies surround the main character and taunt him, until he leashes his inner furry and beats them up. In this case, it is much more likely that a group of big guys would want to hit on Jennifer rather than fight her. Still a threat, just a better fit for a 5'4 woman. Then, her cousin being psychotic around her might be partially due to his PTSD from being a superhero. Or it might be that he still has the Beast of the Hulk to fight. Also, given his past, he is understandably concerned with his cousin going back into society so quickly, even if it means getting violent. Point number two, Jennifer is not a better Hulk than Bruce, just different. So far, she is shown to be weaker than Bruce by far. Let's consider that she's new at being a Hulk. She would understandably be less able to hold back her power when training than Bruce obviously is. Bruce can launch a boulder into orbit when Jennifer throws a rock just a few hundred meters or so. Bruce throws Jennifer back with one thunderclap while Jennifer causes sonic booms that, while immobilizing Bruce, doesn't push him back at all. In their fight, it is obvious that Bruce is holding back, while still holding his own to an inexperienced Jennifer. But what about her being able to fully control the Hulk form? Well, consider that she got the power secondhand from her cousin, not from the original Gamma accident. Also, she doesn't have another personality, i.e. the Hulk, fighting for control, which is the trade-off for not being as strong. And maybe she also just metabolizes gamma radiation differently. Bruce did use her to heal his arm, so maybe she's just a variant with different but undiscovered properties. This leads us to final point number three, or really point two, clause B. Jennifer believes that her emotional control is, is because she had to deal with mansplaining at work or catcalling on the streets. True, these might be extraordinarily stressful for her because maybe she heard too many stories of men attacking women, or maybe her friend had a bad experience, or maybe she had a bad experience. She might even have her own PTSD. I understand Bruce had his own horrific events when he saw genocide, was body snatched, lost loved ones, got trapped off world, but everyone's experiences and trauma differs. So with that in mind, is she Hulk sexist? Well, it's too early to tell, but there's a caveat. Yes, Jennifer shouldn't be judged too harshly for her own experiences, but that also means she shouldn't judge others. So when she said she was, quote, a million times better, unquote, at controlling her emotions than Bruce, she was falling prey to the folly of assuming her trauma level was bigger than his. In fact, she would be losing control of her anger here by attacking Bruce personally, just like she did later when they fought. This is a character flaw that has potential to be an overarching theme for the show, because while she thinks she's in control of her anger, we actually do see her lose control due to her overconfidence in herself. 